Hey there, welcome to another video. What we're going to be doing in this one is a map with pies on it, right? So let me show you what it kind of looks like. There was one I saw online. Um, this one was designed by, trying to find the name. Oh, I don't think there's a name. Uh, no, there's no name. This was just on the Tableau um, gallery. And they've got this thing, well, my internet's been a bit funky today, but basically pie charts on the map itself plus a sizing element to it so you can see these ones are a lot larger so let me show you how to build it it's actually very easy um i've i've shown people how to do this before and i think what they struggle with is trying to decide well where do i start do i start with the pies so i see people try and do it this way <clears throat> so let's say i've got category and you know let's switch this to pie first right so i've got category let's say the pie like this and then for the size we'll put you know, sales like that. And then they'll try and split it by country or something by double clicking, go in here, map, and all sorts of crazy things start to happen that it's just not working. So the way you start is actually with the map first. So <clears throat> we want to start with something that's not, that hasn't got too many points in it. So for example, if I've got city, right? If I do a pie chart for here, it's a bit overkill. You know, it's not really telling me anything. And whenever you're building visualizations, always think of who's reading it and can they get something useful out of it or can they take action from your data? If all these were pie charts, it's just it's just a mess, right? <clears throat> so let's reduce this a bit. Um, even that's a bit too much. Maybe we'll do country, all right? So you got dots here. All right, now to make this a pie, now we can switch this to pie, okay? Now what you'll notice is nothing changes. Okay, because we need to introduce some values for the pie. So what I tend to do first is increase this size, right? Even if it's a, a really large, it doesn't actually matter. Like what I'm trying to do is just get better visibility to make sure the pies are actually being constructed correctly. Okay, and let's get category. We're going to drop that into color. So you can see now we have pies. Let's say we're going to put sales in the angle. There we go. And I want to use the total sales as well to size them because the total sales for each one is not the same. So I can grab that and drop it in size. There you go. And now we can adjust this size until it's good. And what I tend to actually do, <clears throat> I don't really adjust this very much. I'll probably put it on the bigger side and then get it onto your dashboard, right? So let's say I've got this on the dashboard and I would resize this. Let's say I've got a bunch of other elements I'm putting in. Let's say I'm going to have something here and here. Once I've decided on my final positioning, only then will I adjust the size of the bubbles because it's all kind of relative to what you have on your dashboard. So I can see that this is way too large. Now we can dial this back a bit. So maybe like that. A bit too small until we're happy with it. Okay, still a bit too small. Maybe there. Let's see. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. So something like that. All right. So that's the first kind of mapping um, kind of technique we're going to do. The second one is a dual access on maps, right? Now, a lot of you would think that dual access, oops, hang on, dual access only happens on like pie charts or bar charts or anything like that, but you can do them on maps as well. So let me show you how they work. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlay the cities over the regions okay so let's begin with the region okay there we go so we've got the region I'm gonna switch this straight away into a regional kind of um, view and we're gonna add this to color okay so we've got my three colors to do a dual axis well first we need a second map so I tend to duplicate this one here all right so we got now two of the same thing we can click on the second one or click down here and we're gonna start modifying it so I want to get rid of the color first. I want to change this to automatic. So we got the three dots. And I want to overlay, and I want to make this, sorry, um, the cities or the states. We'll see how it looks. All right, so adding the countries now. And maybe just states. Maybe that's good. And let's add in, uh, let's add in quantity, right, by the size, like so. All right. And then what we can do is now we can dual access. So remembering always to right click on the second one because you won't find dual access here. Always click on the second one like so. Right. And 
the contrast isn't very good. So you got to play around with this a little bit. Again, depends on your on your data and how it's kind of uh, visualizing itself. <clears throat> so what I tend to do is I will modify the map in the back. So we go map layers, maybe apply some washout. A lot of the times I get rid of all these kind of borders and all that kind of stuff. So maybe I'll add like a coastline, get rid of the country region borders, maybe even that, right? And in some cases I just wash out the back completely or just have just a little bit showing as you can see there. Then depends what information is more important, the dots or the regions. A lot of the times it's probably the smaller ones, right? Because you can still kind of see things even if it's faded like that, which means now we have to change this one to be a little bit darker. Right, something like that. And maybe even if you wanted to, having some labels like so. Right, so you can play around with this. I've seen it done well, I've seen it done poorly. It's a tricky thing, so you just got to uh, play around with it. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.